Radio 3, we come to the first in a series of nine weekly editions of the classical guitar. Today's program is introduced by Robert Spencer. In today's program, we hear the Czech player, Vladimir Mikulka, who first came to our attention when he won first prize in the 1970 Radio France International Competition. He begins with Sonata in E by Matteo Albanis, written for keyboard early in the 19th century and transcribed for guitar by Narciso Yepes. Sonata in E by Matteo Albanis. Next, transcriptions of lute music by the bohemian Ivan Jelinek, a contemporary of Bach. Vladimir Jelinek was a near neighbour of Bach, who was in Leipzig. Is his compositional style similar? Well, in fact, Jelinek was living at the same time as, as Bach, um, but the style is absolutely different, and his style represents a period of composing uh, in Czechoslovakia uh, which was just arising at that time and which was in fact anticipating the classical period already just at the time when the high baroque was on its best. Is there a lot of this um, Czech lute music which could be transcribed for guitar? Well, there is a lot 
published and even more in the libraries. Uh, from my experience, I could say that I have tried to find some new compositions which uh, uh, nobody plays, but unfortunately it was no success because I just found the same compositions which were already published by a musicologist who uh, spent a lot of time in, in the libraries just before me. And so uh, after that attempt, I just gave up that and I just rely on what has been already published. So now we hear four movements from Suites by Ivan Jelinek, Aria, Gavot, Saraband and Presto.
Four Movements from Sweets by Ivan Jelinek. Moving on to this century, we've heard on previous editions of this program music by the Czech composers Kuchera and Obrovska. Are there others writing for guitar at present? Certainly there is a lot of composers writing for the guitar nowadays because the classical guitar succeed to join our musical life already a number of uh, years ago. I could name, for example, Odrich Flossmann, who has written a concerto for the guitar and string orchestra, or Stepan Rak, who has got uh, really a lot of pieces for this instrument. Well, we'll now hear five movements from an extended suite by the young Russian guitarist and composer Nikita Koshkin. Titled The Prince's Toys, the five movements depict the decadent court of a spoiled prince, the sycophantic courtiers making fun of him behind his back, the doll with closing eyes that reminds him of his childhood, his coach which collapses while transporting him to battle, and finally the prince playing with his toy soldiers while his army fights a battle.
Five movements from The Prince's Toys by Nikita Koshkin. To end, Vladimir Mikulko plays Suakosa by John Duart, dedicated to the memory of the American jazz guitarist Wes Montgomery, who titled one of his own blues, Mia Koza. <laughs> Thank you. 
Sua Cosa by John Duart, with which we end today's edition of the classical guitar. Our guest was Vladimir Mikulka from Czechoslovakia. The classical guitar was introduced by Robert Spencer and produced by Gareth Walters. In next week's programme, you can hear the young Swedish guitarist Jöran Sölscher.